it's a death sentence to the tree. There's nothing you can do about it. That's Karen Moss. She owns the Lemon Ladies Orchard in Redwood City, and like other citrus growers in the Bay Area, is growing increasingly worried about citrus greening. In 2012, the California Department of Food and Agriculture announced that citrus screening had been detected in Hacienda Heights in Los Angeles County. The insect that carries the disease has also been spotted around the rest of the state. Citrus greening, or Huang Long Bing, first hit Florida in August 2005 and ended up costing the state's economy over $3 billion in lost revenue. Spread by this pest, the disease first appeared in two counties in Florida. Six months later, it was found in 12 counties. It continued to spread. In less than 17 months, it had infected trees in 24 counties. In just over two years, it had covered 30 counties in Florida, their entire citrus-producing region. Once infected, a tree's leaves develop telltale yellow splotches. Its fruit starts to turn green and tastes so bitter that it's almost inedible. Limbs fall off, roots decay, and as little as four or five years later, the tree withers and dies. There is no cure. There's only been one tree infected in California since this th thing was first found. Even if the little bug is present, it doesn't mean you're going to be infected. It, it absolutely Jasmine doesn't. Velasquez, an agriculture aide at the California Department of Food and Agriculture, agrees that the presence of the moth isn't necessarily a sign of infection, but the CDFA isn't taking any chances and has already quarantined off an area in Santa Clara County. They have also begun treatment in areas where the insect has been found and are warning citrus growers to watch out for symptoms. But for moss and other citrus growers, it can be difficult to detect signs of infestation. Splotchy colors on the, of the leaves. There's always splotchy colored leaves out there. What they put for warning signs are all, all normal conditions of the orchard, other than the, the misshapen fruit. Now that, that's something that you know I am keeping my eye out on. Karen and other growers believe it may be connected to the drought. Karen says her trees are already showing signs of stress, and this may make them more susceptible to infestations and diseases. Last year we got 3.5 inches of rain for the whole entire year. This year we've had not even an inch of rain so far. There's a progressive amount of stress, I think, that they get, they get weaker. Maybe the reason this thing exploded in Florida is the trees were stressed. I believe the trees are stressed right now. I, I, I have this awful feeling. <laughs> this is Ariha Sadalvad for the Peninsula Press, a project of the Stanford Graduate Program in Journalism.